John, you've been talking about progression in, in pre-season. This was certainly another step on that scale. Yeah, it was. I mean, you've only to look at the the level of opposition that we played tonight, especially in that first half. I mean, uh, it was a quality team that St. Tellers turned out and uh, I thought we showed great resilience and there were lots of plus points from that. Uh, and But there's obviously still, because of the stand of opposition, they've also exposed some things that we've got to work upon and improve. So it's been a very, very worthwhile exercise. You must have been pleased in the first half with the, with the goal line defence particularly. Yeah, well, I was play I was generally pleased because I thought it was a real high standard that first game. There were 39 sets of six, Saints had 20, we had 19. And uh, I, I just thought it was a high tempo game. The ball was in play a lot, so it certainly done us a lot of good with regard to our, uh, our intensity conditioning. And uh, it should bear us in good stead, not just for York, but for this, the season coming up. There's a lot of talk about the attacking value of fullbacks, but what about that uh, defensive play that Jack Owens pulled Tremendous, off? Tremendous, yeah. I mean, that, that was absolutely great. You know, I, I think Paul Wellens is, is the coach of St. Helens, and he was one of the finest defensive fullbacks you could meet, and I think even he would have been proud of that. So I thought it was a tremendous piece of defensive play from Jack Owens, and I liked how the team as well scrambled back and, and reorganised themselves to keep them out for that set. So, yeah, there's there's been lots of plus points in different areas, but as I said, the most important thing at this stage, there's areas identified that we can certainly get better on and, and say it's sort of because of the quality of opposition, they expose that. Did Ollie Davis take some stick at half time when his body went without his legs in that first He's half? He's taken some stick afterwards as well, <laughs> yeah. I thought that divot, that's that's won the game, and if I say it's that divot, so yeah. Yeah, it was uh, it was like the, was it Fine Haven or whatever, when in, in that uh, Grand National when the horse just went down and it came through, so yeah. But, uh, you know, that's that, that's what happens, but the nice thing about that is it was a very good line break. And you know, he was there, of course. And, and well. he was supporting, and we made another good line break through Shane Grady. So, line breaks are hard to come by against St. Helens, but uh, we came up with a couple in that first half, and that's that's very heartening for me as well. And we've talked about the competition for places, and, and perhaps was Ryan into his second half performance perhaps the epitome of that, the way he played? I think so, yeah, because obviously the two wingers had done pretty well in the first half, hadn't they? So, uh, he went out there and he had a really good second half, but. Uh, you know, I, I've got some uh, some think. I've got to get my thinking cap on, and uh, I've got to weigh up all the uh, pros and cons, and I've got to attempt to come up with the the best 17. It won't be easy, but uh, you know, I, I'm happy to do that. I'd sooner have that headache than thinking, whoa, they're, they're totally out of form, and there's there's individuals not put their hands up and uh, we'll be scratching about. So, I like the, I like where we're at, and I like the headaches that I've got. Did you pick up any? There was any knocks that picked up tonight? Yeah, there were one or two, but n nothing uh, that I mean. Like Alan Brown came off, but he's passed his head test, so you know, th there's nothing really. There's Owen Farnworth might be uh, a little doubt with that shoulder injury that we brought him off with, but uh, you know, nothing really. So that's another big plus point from the evening. Um, and what about Max Roberts and, and Will Evans? Are they would they be in contention for next week? I, or? I think it will be a, a week too early, but. Uh, they're working really hard on the rehab and I've been astounded by the improvement that Max Roberts has made so he might well just you know come in at the post but uh, we'll have to wait and see and just a final word uh, for Mark Purcell his testimonial yep. obviously you know came was a witness lad supporting as a yep. youngster but a great career he's had with St Sellins and, and good to pay tribute to him tonight well one of the things that we did uh, before the game we said that we wanted our performance to sort of reflect a, a competitive game because that's what you need when it's somebody's testimony. You don't want them to come to the game and think, well, it's half-hearted and uh, you know both teams really are just going through the motions. And I don't think either any of those players who went out there went through the motions. And I think it's a fitting testimony and a, a fitting tribute to, to a great centre in Mark Percival. And someone who's been 10 years at one club, I think that's marvellous, me. It really is, it demonstrates it says lots and lots about the individual so uh, you know I think it's been a, a good game for Mark and it's been a good game for Saints and a good game for Witness so a very worthwhile exercise.